You're listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, the place to learn about new technology and technological advances before they become mainstream. This special edition one episode is sponsored by Cisco, taking your business a level up. Let's get into it. Welcome to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. I'm your guest host today, Logan Lyles with Sweetfish Media. We are recording on site in Denver, Colorado at the Ingram Micro One event. We're gonna be talking about the Cisco Experience Center and several other technical consultant resources available to partners. We're joined today to dive into this topic by Matt White, the Business Transformation Center Engineer at Ingram Micro, or the BTC as it's called, Uh, Jeff Barnhart as well, System Engineer at Cisco. Jeff, Matt, how's it going? today great happy to be here how yeah are you? good morning logan awesome man. this is fantastic how are you guys enjoying the event so far it's been great i enjoy it every year i've been doing this for a long time so this is always fun this is my highlight every year it's been uh amazing and i thoroughly enjoy that james cunningham is still the host yes so james yes. if you're listening we had him job. in the booth yesterday and that was that was a ton of fun so jeff let's uh start with you i'd love to kick it off we're going to be talking about the cisco experience center but let's give an overview of some of the technical resources that ingram offers cisco partners to begin with yeah no doubt so we at cisco we invest pretty heavily into ingram micro so that we can enable our two-tier partners When I look at the investments that I make into Ingram, I have basically three buckets of technical support resources available for our partners. Um, The big value add resource that we don't talk enough about is solution design and support, formerly known as pre-sales tech support. I think Matt used to work there for a number of years. Yeah, I was there over 10 years. So before coming into this role, I was doing that. So it's a great organization. They're really good. They know what they're doing when it comes to like putting part numbers together and really building out those bombs for people. That's a lot of times when people call in, they know kind of like what they're looking for, but they don't have it nailed down to exactly what they need as far as part numbers go. And that's where they can really help. Yeah. And so, so I actually worked there for a few years before starting my career at Cisco. Okay. And, um, it's basically a call center. I've got about 30 to 40, depending on volume. (laughs) individuals that support our Cisco partners. Our partners can pick up the phone, call into this resource, and discuss all of our cross-architectural technologies for Cisco. Um, My second bucket of technical resources are field technical consultants or technical consultants. These folks are regionally assigned and architecturally focused on a Cisco product set. And these resources are available for you to um, utilize on site at your place of business. They will interface with your customers. They will help you build a cross architecture, uh, go to market strategy with Cisco. Um, if you have a security practice and you're not doing data center, they can help you build that practice, move you up the stack, get you specialized and get you authorized for different product sets. Um, our third kind of bucket, which is what we're gonna spend the majority of the time on, is our investment into the Experience Center where uh, our friend Matt here uh, works and supports. Yeah, absolutely. So Matt, (coughs) let's talk a little bit about the Customer Experience Center at Ingram Micro. My understanding, you know, it's offering live and remote dinner, uh, live and remote demos, maybe dinners dinners too. Um, Uh, Well, we have uh, food there very often. Okay, there we go, so I wasn't too far (laughs) off. So can you give us an overview of the Experience Center? Sure, Uh, so the Experience Center as a whole, or the BTC, which it's now called, uh, Business Transformation Center is what it stands for. So really what we're trying to do there is show people a working environment. So if we have a product from Cisco there, maybe it's a Cisco phone, maybe it's video endpoint, maybe it's uh, networking equipment, whatever it may be, we have it up and running there. So people can come in, they can play with it, they can look at the software, they can actually uh, show it how it connects to other things. So often I head up on the UCC side for Cisco. So often I'll be showing how Cisco product can work in conjunction with other manufacturers' products. There's very few places you can go and find that. So uh, the BTC is one of the greatest places to have that experience because I can show you how it's going to work in a real environment. And you can come in and show that to your end user based off of their scenario. So whether it's connecting to other Cisco devices or other third-party devices, we can kind of tie that together and have that up and working for them. So when they come in, they can actually have that experience and see it for real. That said, we also do virtual environments too. So if somebody needs a virtual software training or things like that to be able to better sell it, we can do that as well. I love it. So um, just to kind of add on to that, we at Cisco, we have 
uh, what's called a executive briefing centers or experience mm-hmm. centers. Yep. Um, San Jose, Toronto, New York City. Uh, we traveled around to these EVCs and we modeled the one at Ingram after a Cisco executive briefing center. So this is a place where you can come usually in January or February when it's snowing in Buffalo, uh, best time <laughs> to visit. Yeah. And uh, we can take a partner and a customer through the entire Cisco product portfolio and really get deep into to the business outcome that they're looking for. I love it. It, it. it sounded like we almost went to the most magical place on earth, but that's somewhere, you know, in Orlando or California. They're like, striving right? to be kind of like us. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So tell us if people want to engage with the experience center, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? We've talked about, you know, you can arrange to be on site, but then there's also virtual setups. How would, how would they go about leveraging this resource? There's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, one of the easiest ways is just jump on the BTC website. Uh, if you just Google BTC and the word Ingram Micro, it's one of the first that pop up. And then there's a form that you can fill out and then they'll direct you to the best person. You can also email us. So just btc at ingrammicro.com will get over to us and then they'll push it off to the right uh, technician. Awesome. So what I've heard people say is, you know, the Experience Center is a really uh, a place to engage, kind of geek out on some of the technology in, in real time. Can you kind of paint a picture if, if someone were to, to walk in, you know, what would they experience? What would they get to do? What are some of the things that you guys have going right now? So sure. all I want to say uh, is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to tell Alexa to turn on the lights. <laughs> and magically, this thing transforms into this technology super hub. But I just wanted to get that out there because I don't want to forget about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. So, uh, yeah, so when you're, you're coming in, uh, we have the Sisu Experience Center, uh, which has a lot of the UC equipment set up, has the conference room table in the middle. Uh, we can pretty much get that up and running and pretty much show you how that works. Uh, we also have a lot of other verticals as well. So we have healthcare, we have education, we have uh, retail space, and we're constantly redeveloping it as well. We don't want it to feel stale for anybody that's coming out on a regular basis. So we're constantly putting in new equipment. It's like new equipment's arriving every week that we're putting up, getting working, tying in with other equipment. So it's a great area to see how everything can work together. and whatever vertical you're selling into, we can help show that as well. Yeah. well there's a number of key takeaways for the Experience Center. Um, we do a quarterly enablement platform. It's called Cisco Virtual Learning. Okay. And uh, this is a proactive uh, set of educational uh, webinars that we will provide to our partners. Typically, these are recorded out of the Experience Center, and we utilize the space for that. We also do security boot camps. So if you're looking to expand your Cisco security practice, uh, we can bring you into the Experience Center. Tom Mann, our, our BTC engineer, can host a two-day boot camp for you, your partners, your customers. And um, we also do what's called a Meraki voyage. So we can take a partner from not knowing anything about Cisco Meraki, and we can put them their sales through technical and sales training, their technical folks through sales and technical training, and we have about 30 Meraki pods that we could do for labs. So there's a lot of things that you can do and see while visiting the Experience Center, either physically or virtually. Yeah, and, and that if, experience starts out with that, that great experience of walking in, turning on the lights with Alexa, right? That's right. Alexa, turn on the EC lights. <laughs> hopefully, if you're listening to this, your Alexa's not going crazy. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> well, that's one of the things, too. So um, actually, just today, or actually this weekend uh, at IM1, we launched the new virtual environment as well. So what we did is we kind of went around with a 360 degree camera and we photographed the environments and then we also made it interactive. So you can kind of click on different products in the environments and it'll take you to the products link and kind of show you the the web page for it. But really we're looking to advance that as we keep going. But if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what the BTC looks like, you can just jump onto the website. It's just tour.im-demo.com. So tour.im-demo.com, and that will pull up uh, that website. So you can take a look around, see what you like. I love it, Matt. So I'm going to kick this to both of you guys to see who's got something to say here. But what, what have you guys heard from folks who have been in the Experience Center, have said has been you know the most helpful thing? The experience starts off great with, with Alexa, but c- coming out of it and, and having some value to take back to their team or take back to their customers, what, is there a common thing that you guys are hearing about the value they're getting out of the experience 
Really the biggest one is being able to utilize the equipment, get hands-on experience with the equipment, and walking away with not only having that one piece of equipment, that knowledge on, say, a single router or a single switch, it's usually the entire solution as a whole. There's never been a solution that you can really just open a box and have that one item and that's all you're going to need right, for your right. customer. Yeah. It's always going to be multiple products working together to create a real working solution for a customer. And that's what we're really offering here at the BTC is that ability to see it in a real environment. And that's what most of these end users need to really justify that this is what they're going to go spend their money on. Yeah, absolutely. What what has been the most enjoyable part for you guys in seeing this come together and the role of experiencing the technology because it's important for partners, it's important for, for customers, you know, because at the end of the day, it's about the experience that they have with the technology, right? Uh, can you guys speak to that experience and technology where those two meet a little bit? Kicking it over to me. Well, it, it <laughs> definitely starts with chicken wings and buffalo, right? And, uh, <laughs> we give them the whole buffalo experience. But nice. you know, honestly, this is a this is helping you build your practice. You know, so if you're listening to this podcast, this is a free technical engineering environment where you could VPN in, you could come on site. This is a way to change your business and help you establish a new practice in a different vertical or architecture that you don't previously, you know, support. So this is a free value add that can change the way you guys go to market and uh, really help you start taking advantage of it. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys are building out a lot of tech in the Experience Center. And one of the questions we love to ask guests here on B2B Tech Talk is where they see technology going in the next year or so. Um, so I'll kick it to you first, Matt. What, sure. what is a, a trend or something you've got your eye on in the immediate future of tech in general? So one of the big things that I've noticed lately is being able to really be wherever you want to be and still be connected. So that's a trend right now that's really starting to get pushed into cars. You're seeing Wi-Fi connected cars. You're seeing mm -hmm. smart uh, cars coming out. Um, but how do those that equipment get communication on a regular basis? So right now uh, you've got... 5G that's going to be launching in a lot of cities or has launched already. And then you also have satellite communication that's higher speed, low latency that's uh, launching soon. So in the next year, I see that's really where it's going to start really progressing faster and faster is being that communication no matter where you are, you can just tap in. So being on the UCC side, I'm looking forward to having those people be able to join video calls no matter where they are. You're driving back in, just pay attention to the road too while you're talking. You don't want to be uh, taking your eyes off the road still. But uh, really, you can just jump into a meeting no matter where you're located, and it could be anywhere in the globe. Yeah, but having that stable and speedy connection, right? I, right. I was just explaining to my kids the other day, you know, they heard a, a modem on this cartoon, the old dial-up sounds. I'm like, <laughs> we, has to, sound. we used to have to sit through like two minutes of that before we ever got on the internet, right? Yep. Uh, and then, they were like, "What are you? What are you? What are you talking about?" Yeah, it's and then a single K. load picture. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, awesome. Jeff, how about you, man? You know, so I've been with Cisco five and a half years. I've been in the technology field for the last fifteen years, and um, it always amazes me how the industry is disrupting business overall as a whole. If you can do something digitally better than your competitor you're going to win outright. So that's where I see the future going is simplification of your digital connection uh, will empower our next generation of business. Um, the biggest area of opportunity and the biggest thing that we need to worry about, in my opinion, is cybersecurity. And if we can't trust the platforms that we're utilizing, if our customers can't guarantee that their customers are secure, it all fails. So, you know, we really need to take a hard look at security of our platforms. We need to secure our data, and it's really the biggest opportunity we have moving forward. But uh, technology is great, isn't it? Everything in your phone uh, on one little device. Right. Do Absolutely. Need to do. Right. But making sure that, you know, we can use it quickly and it's secure. I, I love the way that you guys balance that out with both of your responses here. Um, so if folks listening to this, Matt, Jeff, want to reach out to you guys or learn more about the BTC, uh, the Cisco Experience Center, what's the what resources would you guys point them to? Where could they reach out? Where could they engage after this? 
they can find me a bunch of different places. So LinkedIn's one of them, uh, Matthew White, and uh, just search with Inger Micro, and I should pop right up. Also, like the email I gave earlier, btc at ingermicro.com, they'll get it over to me, or you can just email me directly, matthew.white at ingermicro.com. Um, so that's probably the easiest ways to get a hold of us. Awesome. I love it. Jeff, how about you, man? Um, hit me up on Twitter. No, I don't do Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, find me on LinkedIn. Call me. Mainly use your account team at Ingram. Yeah. Um, you can Google Cisco Experience Center at Ingram Micro and it'll pop up with a web page. Uh, there's YouTube videos. Um, really, Matt laid it out pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Matt, Jeff, thank you guys for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it, guys. All right, folks, that wraps it up for another episode of B2B Tech Talk. If you'd like to join the the discussion, you can join on Twitter at Ingram Tech Soul, even though we won't be following Jeff, but that's okay. At Ingram Tech Soul, um, you can find us and engage using the hashtag B2B Tech Talk. Thanks as always for listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. If you're not already subscribed to the show, we want to encourage you to do so in Apple Podcasts or wherever you do your podcast listening. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You've been listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. This special edition one episode is sponsored by Cisco. B2B Tech Talk is a joint production by Sweetfish Media and Ingram Micro. Ingram Micro production handled by Laura Burton and Christine Fan. To not miss an episode, subscribe today in your favorite podcast player.